The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at, at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God on this October the 17th. We finish up Titus today, chapter 3. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways, that we may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word, and I will declare your greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Titus, the third chapter, verses 1 through 11, entitled, Be Ready for Every Good Work. Remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show your perfect courtesy toward all people. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior so that being justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. The saying is trustworthy, and I want you to insist on these things, so that those who have believed in God may be careful to devote themselves to good works. These things are excellent and profitable for people, but avoid foolish controversies, genealogy, dissensions, and quarrels about the law, for they are unprofitable and worthless. As for a person who stirs up division, after warning him once, then twice, have nothing more to do with him, knowing that such a person is warped and sinful. He is self-condemned. So far the word. God brings us out of sin and into new life in Christ. Beginning with the cleansing and rebirth, he provides to us in our baptism. This is all accomplished by the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, not by anything we can do on our own. Those who stray away from God's truth and stir up division among God's people must be disciplined by the church. We are committed and fervent in our beliefs, but we also check ourselves, our words, and our behavior against God's trustworthy Holy Scripture. We pay attention to the guidance, counsel, and teaching of our pastors and our elders. We pray in Jesus' name. We, this is, and now we pray in Jesus' name. O oh God, your word and sacraments sustain, guide, and nurture men in the one true faith. Guard me against all errors. In your name we pray. Amen. And the balance of Titus, third chapter, verses 12 through 15, entitled, Final Instructions and Greetings. When I send, Ar when I send Artemis, or Tertius, to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Do your best to speed Zenith, the lawyer, and Apollos on their way. See that they lack nothing, and let our people learn to devote themselves to good work so as to help cases of urgent need and not be unfruitful. All who are with me and send greetings to you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. So far the word. Paul's closing remarks mention four co-workers who, with him, spread the gospel and ministers to, and minister to churches in various locations. Paul and the others could not perform such ministries without the help of other Christians. So his closing includes instructions for their support. Whether or not we personally work in outreach ministry, we need to support others as they evangelize, as they teach, and minister in Christ's name. God who redeems us with the precious blood of Jesus and saw to it that we received his dear message will give us opportunities to serve and to support others. What a privilege to serve with our brothers and sisters in Christ in God's kingdom. We pray and trust me, dear Lord, with the opportunity to tell another person of your redeeming love. In your name we pray. Amen. We continue in prayer from the Pray For Us calendar. We rejoice that in the sacrament, forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation are given to us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh, merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, 
and all those we now name to you in our hearts. <clears throat> as well as Art and Rick, Melissa and Clifford, Helen, Mary Ann, Jane, George, Brina, Marilyn, and Chris. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of your body, of the body. <laughs> Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O oh Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.